Hey everybody, what's up? Hope life is treating all of you just fine. And we're going to go through a stack of records that I purchased recently. Going to start off with some Record Store Day items that I purchased last weekend, along with other records that were not released for Record Store Day. They're actually either original pressings from the 60s or, or uh, reissues from 10 years ago. So I hope you enjoy this vinyl update and let's go through these. Let's start off with the record store day items first. First one is a Doors record. This is titled uh, The Square Day, if that's how you pronounce it. And uh, this is a uh, this is like a uh, uh, looks like a charity record. Uh, when you buy this record, it goes to charity to remember those who who lost their lives in the Paris attacks from. This past November. And I hear the songs that's on this record. Live version of Roadhouse Blues. Backed with a Feast of, Fe Feast of Friends. Uh, both of the songs were on uh, the Doors American Prayer album. Here's the back of it. Here's a record. It's on white vinyl. Has the Paris flag stripes on the label, red, white, and blue. Okay, this next record is uh, an, another Record Store Day item. It's by Frank Zappa and the Mothers of Invention. Uh, this is a Record Store Day exclusive, which, which has uh, the songs My Guitar on side A, and on the B side is Dog Breath. Here's my number. Here's the record. It's on green marbled vinyl. And both of the songs are in mono. Okay, this next record I was lucky enough to find at one of the last record stores I visited on Record Store Day. Uh, when I went to this record store uh, they, they only had two copies of this picture disc record um, uh, I uh, I bought one of them but the next day when I tried to go get the, the grapefruit record uh, the grapefruit lullaby record which I showed in my Beatles update video on my Beatles channel uh, the second copy was gone so I'm uh, very happy to have this picture disc because I'm uh, I did learn it, it is a. Uh, I did learn from uh, some uh, VC members that uh, it, it was pretty tough to find, but um, I got my hands on it and I'm happy with it. This is a, a monkey's picture disc record. A logo. It's a logo shaped picture disc, and that's my number fourteen ninety one. The second copy uh, was a uh, fourteen ninety two. So um, I decided to go for the lower number copy, and I'm glad I did. So here are the songs that's on this picture disc, and both of these are the the mono mixes from the the TV show, the T mono TV version from the Monkeys TV show. Side A has uh, Saturday's Child, which is actually one of my favorite songs of theirs, and on the B side is a. Uh, uh, Mike Nesmith's song called You Just May Be The One. And it's a really nice record. Uh, really happy with this picture disc here. I don't need to take the record out to show you. <laughs> okay, this next record is uh, the final record store day item I'm going to show you for this video. It's a David Bowie record. It's titled David Bowie 1966. Uh, this is a a record which has all of David Bowie's uh, Pie singles that were released in 1966. Now there's six songs on here. Here's a record. I guess you call this an EP because uh, it has six songs on it. Okay, that's all the record store day items I'm going to show for this video. Now on to the rest of the records that are not record store day items. I'm going to start off with a Doors promo record, which I forgot to show in my 
previous update video which I posted on April Fool's Day this is a single Roadhouse Blues back with You Make Me Rio you take the vinyl out it's a white label pressing for radio station only and then and, uh, these are dedicated mono mixes of uh, both Roadhouse Blues and You Make Me Rio the record plays great okay this next record is by the Four Seasons on one of my recent Beatles vinyl finds videos on my Beatles channel I show a rare beat up stereo copy of the Beatles vs. the Four Seasons album now the Beatles record is in stereo but the Four Seasons record was not and uh, I was uh, my heart sank so I'm like I, I need to get a stereo copy of the Four Seasons album that's that's in that Beatles vs. the Four Seasons album and I, and I did but um, uh, I didn't find another Beatles vs. the Four Seasons album. This is just the Four Seasons album that I'm going to show you. Uh, this is a, a stereo copy of Golden Hits of the Four Seasons on VJ. And here's the song list. It's the same album that's in the, the Beatles vs. the Four Seasons album. Here's a record here. Records in nice condition. There's some stuff on the labels, but I'm happy with this line. And a lot of the songs on here are in true stereo, but songs like Big Girls Don't Cry, Peanuts, and a couple others, they're in uh, fake stereo. Uh, and, and what's interesting, they play at a slower speed than the mono mix. So, you know, that, that was very strange, but I'm uh, really happy with this. Okay, I'm going to show three records by The Who. The Who is one of my all-time favorite bands. I love The Who, but I haven't been buying a lot of Who records recently. But, um, I, I found some Who records, which um, I just found this past week, and I'm really happy with these purchases. Uh, this one I bought at a record store after I got off work for the day. This is a, a quick one, their second album. This one is a Classic Records audio file pressing from 2005. Huge fan of these Classic Records audio file pressings. Here's a record. It's on Reaction. But um, it is a Classic Records repressing. And the vinyl's in really nice shape. I can't tell if this is 200 gram or 150. I think it's 150 because uh, it's it's uh, not too thick. Or maybe 180 gram, I'm not sure. If it was 200, it'd be really heavy. Alright, this next one is also by The Who. This is a white label promo press in of the album. And, um, I, and um, as you can see, uh, I showed record one of this white label promo press in in my previous video where I did a, a wood glue treatment on the record and um, I just got done wood gluing the the two records and um, I, I peeled the glue that was all that was dried already completely dry and the wood glue made an improvement so I'm really happy with the wood glue treatment I might do another wood glue because I'm it you know because it does need more clean in but I'm uh uh, I want to give a shout out to Donald. Donald, I think it's Donald Rocks 1103, something like that. But um, uh, uh, Donald uh, showed a, a a post on Instagram of uh, this album, uh, which uh, he he bought for like twenty dollars, and that inspired me to want to look for a copy of this album on the internet, and and I did. I found uh, one which is a uh, it's in fair condition like Donald's copy, but the there's some stickers and writings on the label. Uh, I think Donald's copy looks a bit better on the label. But um, uh, his copy is in fair condition, I remember. But um, uh, and this one's also in fair condition. And uh, the next next who album I have, like I said, it's white label promo pressing.
This is uh, the Who's Tommy album. Undeca. Trifold. I'm going to show the booklet first. Um, there's limited edition number here, but they didn't put the number on this booklet here, which is strange. Back of it. Let me go through the booklet as fast as I can. It's a really nice booklet. Here's record one on the, the DECA white label promo. Here's record one, white label promo pressing on DECA records. Here's record two. I have one more Who album to show you. It's their classic album, Who's Next? It's on uh, Classic Records. It's a Classic Records audio file pressing from 2005. Here's a, a Classic Records postcard here. And here's a record. I forgot to mention, uh, this is a, a record store purchase today. I went to the bookstore. And uh, I look, I went through the new arrivals, and I found this for twenty dollars. I'm like, I I need to get this pressing because I'm, I'm I'm a I'm a fan of the classic records audio file pressings. I'm looking to get more of them, but I'm uh they're going for crazy money right now. You know, I want to try to uh, buy them at a at a good price instead of overspending on these audio file pressings uh, from classic records. Like, um, unfortunately, uh, the only Led Zeppelin classic records album I have is the BBC Sessions, which is sealed, but I paid a lot of money for it. But I don't have any of the studio albums on classic records. Uh, hopefully that will change. Because I like to get the Zeppelin ones. But um, this is really nice. Uh, who's next? Um, this is on 200 gram vinyl. It's Vinyl's really thick. Alright, I have two more records to show you. Um, next record is Genesis Foxtrot. This is a U.S. press-in. Here's a record here. It's on the Charisma label. It looks really nice. Alright, I have one more record to show you. It's by Peter Gabriel. This is a 12-inch single. For Shock the Monkey, which is one of my favorite Peter Gabriel songs. And on the on the back is a song called Soft Dog. Here's a record. It's on the Geffen label. Plays at 33 and a third. This is the Shock the Monkey side. And on the B side is Soft Dog. Both songs play at 33 and a third. Okay, that wraps up this vinyl update video i hope you enjoy seeing this update stay tuned for more videos thank you very much for watching and talk to you all later take care